Okay. Yeah. And then uh, you can listen to it on my iPad, which I think might be louder. Yes. You ready? Okay. Get your music and hold it up. Okay. I see. very well done, Ella. That was very pretty, too. Uh -huh. It's a very good singing warm-up, isn't it? Kind of. Except I stopped because my saliva was like getting all over my mouth. Well, yeah. I think Kairos would be very impressed if 
with that warm up, huh? It sounded like a folk song to me. Kind of. Okay, so I thought it was very interesting, and I'll tell you why. I think that you sing it better than you play it. What do you think? Uh, well, yeah, but wh why? I mean, it's interesting. Wh why do you think that that's true? Uh, because you don't have to really close your thumbs and keep your, like, keep your shoulder down, keep your elbow up, and like keep put your fingers down or something. Right, so you can just relax and, and listen to the music and match it, yeah. and, and it's easier. Well, but that's really good information that maybe sometimes when you're playing it, you're focused on so many different things, you know, it's hard to just sort of get into what it is, right? Yeah. And then I also noticed like when you played it at Eugene's or tried to play it, you played it a lot faster than this, right? Yeah. So maybe, maybe you should play it at the speed in your lesson that you pl practice it, okay? okay? So if you're willing, I'd like you to do that every day sing it, and listen to the fast one in on the bus. Do you have the fast one? Okay. So you have about nine more minutes, kid. So let's decide what you want to spend doing. I'll go there. <laughs> do you think you can do that counting thing that you did with Marsha by yourself? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really, really? Is your zipper zipped? Yeah. Those pants look like they're too big for you, don't they? Mm -hmm. That's why you have a belt holding them up. I like them. They look too small. I didn't small. say you couldn't wear them. I just said they look big. They okay. They look too small and then they look too big. <laughs> All right. So, uh, that sounds good. Why is this one here? <laughs> I'm gonna hold a punch this really quickly. I will do one, two, three. Okay. <laughs> trying to squeeze in a lot of notes on a bow and you're changing strings like that, what do you think some of the tricks are? I think to keep your weight in instead of doing the jumping. Like
So yeah, maybe that's why he gave you that exercise to play a long bow like that. Yeah. Okay. So I why don't you tell me what strings your blah, 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 you know your your arpeggio goes on? All the strings. <laughs> okay. So um, I of course, but um, maybe you could make up an exercise where you just play all four strings up and back. And think about the arpeggio. So how many notes does the arpeggio have on its G string? Two going up and two going down. Two, okay. And how many on the D string? Okay, and how many on the E string? Four. And how many times are you going up and back? Da, 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 da. How many arpeggios do you have? Three arpeggios. One arpeggio is da, da, da. Right? That's one, two, three. Four, five, six, right? How many of those do you have? How many triplets? chop it in six pieces basically right yeah. okay so chop your bow in half and see if you can do half of it notice where you are good so see if you can do that much really smoothly all right you didn't use enough bow you're using so little bow that, that you're not even barely muting it, right? So see if you can figure out how much is the right amount to use. If you too, use too little, too little bow, it's gonna be uh, too scratchy. If you use too much, you'll run out, right? He's feeling better. Okay, so now why don't you try starting halfway in the bow and just do the last part of the arpeggio. Put your bow halfway. Good, try that again. Okay, now do what you hate to do. I want you to do it and look at the bow. Look, I know you hate to watch, but focus on the bow. Watch the bow. Okay, and what did you notice that you did or didn't do with the bow that you would like to improve? I stopped it a few times. Yeah, I think it needs to be smoother. So go back to just doing smooth on an open string. Is that really how much pressure? You said it had to be heavy. It's not heavy. Try watching. And then 
and keep doing it, keep doing that like three or four times and then shh, and then in the middle of it without even giving your brain time to think, just add your fingers. Watch the bow. Start, start, on, start down at the frog on the G string. I think you need to start it up bow and then the second time you do your arpeggio, right? So you're in the right rhythm. So start on the G string up bow and do two. Da, 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 yeah. No. Start at the tip up bow doing the exercise you just did where you do all four strings. I can't figure it out. Never mind. You have to leave for school now. Maybe you can do a little bit of aquile later. I'm sorry. I My just fault. wanted to do it without the mute because the mute made it really kind of. All right, I'm sorry. It's okay. Oh, Sally, you take to cleaning that spot under the covers. Hmm. <laughs> How did she get in? That's the other person. Da -da, da -da, I did like 45 minutes of practice. Yeah. <laughs>